take 125 on trying to make this video so I'm going to try and tell you guys as much as I can in as quick as time as I can because I'm gonna lose everything again so let's try this okay my review is on Fateful by Claudia Gray it has 309 pages and is published by HarperCollins and this is a cover which I gave a rating of 1 because I do not like it so I have a, also have a written review, so if this review does not come across as very clear and concise, you can check that out too. So basically what I was telling you guys about in my previous attempt at making this video was that I do give this book 5 out of 5 stars. It is a brilliant book and I loved it to bits. I am now an evangelist for this book. It was absolutely and utterly fantastic. Uh, the synopsis is that Tess Davies is um, on aboard the RMS Titanic with her uh, family that she serves as a servant and this is where the journey begins on the Titanic and during the period of the time where she is on the Titanic. And that is where she finds herself, she finds friends, she finds her um, meaning of her own life and what it means to love somebody so that was really cool as you can tell my voice is starting to crack because I've made this video too many times so I have a list of things I'm going to talk with you about the first thing I want to say is that I am so glad I picked this book up uh, the the promos on the back really did sound a little cookie cutter and I was a little bit concerned that it would be exactly like that but apparently it is not it is brilliant so definitely don't pick this up book the pick this book up. I'm going to say this right now. Pick it up. Pick it up, steal it, buy it, whatever you have to do. It is freaking brilliant. Her writing style is epic and I just loved the descriptions. I loved how she um just the writing is so simple and elegant, yet at the same time it's so provoking and moving and intense. And that is what I felt from the start to the end. It was intense and it captured me and I kept thinking about this book over and over again to the point that I was thinking about it when I was wanting to go to sleep. So when I wasn't reading, I was frustrated because I wanted to read the book. And nearing the end, I um, found myself not wanting to finish the book because I didn't want to leave the world. I didn't want to leave the world she had created and the Titanic too because we all know what happens to the Titanic and it was quite sad and epic and epically sad and I just love that. I love that she took this um, tragic event and turned it into a unique fascinating look inside um, the period as well, the Edwardian period and I just loved it. I loved getting to know about the times and the era and the ways of people, of the rich and noble, the upper class and lower class, which was fascinating, and how they were treated, and that there were some really, really just harsh people, and there were some brilliant, beautiful people, and that's what I loved about this book too, that there was such a diverse um, cast, each character was defined and unique in their own rights, right down to the captains, right down to any, the, the lesser class, the top class, they were all very unique in their own sense and I really appreciated that and loved it. I was just enthralled in this book. I also loved that she made the Titanic a character in itself and as a setting. It added to the overall atmosphere of the book. It also added to the ch um, character progression in the story, especially for Tess and everyone around it, really. It affected everyone in the book. And I just thought that was, she did a, a really, really, really good job with that. Um, I could put myself in that position and close my eyes and look around the whole Titanic and she didn't over uh, oversaturate which is a topic I brought up in my other video that she did not oversaturate it um, to the point that it was all about the Titanic and all about everything else she let the setting and the characters intertwine in a way that just made the book so freaking brilliant and readable um, and then there was other things that 
I guess the only thing that really bothered me was that she overused the word hunter too many times during the beginning. But really, once you listen to it a thousand times, you kind of get the point. And I was hoping that she would stop. And she did, which I was very pleased about. Um, I'm trying to think what else there is to say about this book. I love Tess. She's a very, very strong-minded character. And I think that it was really very... Um, exciting to read about a character that despite all the turmoil she went with on this boat and the people she met and the people that she come across even the people that were just that you wanted to cut up into tiny pieces yourself and throw over the edge of the boat was so interesting and provoking I just wanted to punch them and still read about them at the same time because it adds to the whole effect of the book and it was brilliant so I just love that. I love the evil characters. Um, and there were some parts that really tore me up. I just don't know if I could have coped if that happened to me. But Tess carried herself as a very strong-willed woman. Even at her weaker times, she still fought for her life and fought for the lives of others. And I just really love that about her. She is one of my favourite characters now as well as Alec and I must say that the relationship between Alec and his father is almost it almost brought me to tears the love between those two is so deep and unconditional that despite near death it just it, it was brilliant that those two have to be my favorite characters apart from everyone else in the book I really loved um, Alec's father and I did like Mikhail in some ways because he was an ass. of course. If you read the book, you'll find out who Mikhail is. You will probably feel the same anger as I do and constantly do even after reading the book. So pick the book up. It's interesting. It's not interesting. It's fabulous. So um, I really can't give this book enough praise. I also would like to talk about the supernatural elements being not oversaturated as well. For the most part, even though there were supernatural elements underneath the surface, I found this book to be greatly realistic and fascinating and engrossing. And I could use all the words in the sun to describe it, but all the characters were just... Um, how do I say it? Fascinating. <laughs> so yeah, they were just great. And I just, I really felt for them all. I really felt for everyone. And that's really rare in a book for me to actually care about every character, regardless of whether they're the villain or the, you know, main character and everything like that. So I could not get enough of this book and it is easily one of my favorite books easily one of my favorite books of this year and of all time um, I'm not giving this book away but I am considering doing a giveaway um, I will be thinking about this today and I will be most likely doing a giveaway where one winner will win the book and I will send it out um, via book depository and then yeah it will most likely be whatever cover I can find but I think I love this book so much that I want to give it away. Not my copy, but another copy. So look out for that. Um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching and I hope this actually loads. And I'm sorry that this isn't the best one, but I really tried 10,000 times to get my thoughts onto screen and I hope this works. So pick it up, read it, do whatever you have to do. And if you would like to comment on your anything about this book or have a link to your review put it down in the comment bar and I will check it out so thank you guys for watching bye